Right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. Kind of surprised you haven't shared the octagon with this guy yet. Yes, we have seen Alistair Overeem for a really long time. We've seen the ups, we've seen the downs. From the highest of highs as the strike force heavyweight champ to the lowest of lows, he's been here and he's been around forever. But the one thing that you know when you think about Alistair Overeem is that when things get tough, he will evolve. He will get better. And recently, he has been back on the upswing in his career. How about the presence of Alistair Over? Steps inside the octagon, he is ready to fight. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body, but it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alistair the Reed Overeem! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mauricio Shogun Herb Dean, third party in the octagon tonight. Well, late in his career, Shogun Hua continues to add to his legend. 20-plus knockouts for the career. Strong starter, aggressive out of the shoot. We'll see if he can get the Muay Thai game going here early. Oh, massive kick lands flush. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Hua gets lit up by that straight punch. And he lands that sidekick. Slips and rips. Leg kick is true. So there it is, longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Tries to fly knee to no Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. So more output at least in the world going. Back to the jab now. No good. Oh, nice. Nice. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick lands. Nice kick landed there by Hua. Late kick. Oh, nice 
nice jab by who? Oh, flying knee! Counters with a left punch. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Big inside kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. And this dude's cash and chips. Guillotine jump. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. He's got to squeeze. But not too much. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Overeem. Yes. And he is back up to his feet. Beautiful jab lands. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Eats a jab there. each other just kind of going at it. Look at the clinch there is good by the ring. Oh, and he found the target again. All right, late in the round here, and Alistair over him on the feet has really been in vintage form tonight. Well, who is bleeding from the mouth, Daniel? Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Overeem. Yes. Liver kick. One minute to go in the round. Rips the body there. So 57 total strikes have landed for Shogun here. Checks the leg kick. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Leg kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. 15 seconds to go. Oh, nice jab by Hua. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now, and however deliberately, well, Hua's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. Second round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Miss with that jab attempt there. Oh, devastating low kick there from Mauricio Shogun Hua. It's a pro career that dates to 2002. And the former UFC champion still getting it done in a big way and still getting it done, DC, against the best 205-pound talent in the world. Right-left combo by Overeem. 
Single collar timeout. Trying to kick the leg out. Both fighters exchanging the pocket here. Oh, just misses with the kick. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you can tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. Oh, beautiful job to get the kick home to the body. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, hook to the head by Overeem. Checks the leg kick. Another good stick to the head. Got the single collar tie. Mixing up the target, attacking the body. Oh, man, he's a hard. Big he lands to the body. Uazai appears to be closing up by the second. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but he didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back. Blood's in the water. You gotta go get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that. Now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Well, nice job on the feet there by the Jekyll striker, Alistair Overeem. Continues to bounce around when it comes to his training. Jackson Wink MMA in Albuquerque, New Mexico. is trained at Team Elevation in Colorado. Getting a lot of different looks and thereby presenting a lot of different looks to his opponents. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Oh, postures up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by the ring. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Overeem's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. 15 seconds remain in the round. Heavy kick downstairs. Oh. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect the fight to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swelling. He can't miss J.A., and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Gets to the single power tie. Overeem's eye is starting to swell shut. Straight right, he misses. Nice liver shot lands. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Nice. Nicely done. And the kick lands. And now they are thrown on both sides with conviction. He's going guillotine. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Who is in half court. I mean, way to stay aware and stay safe defensively. Oh, right into Mount. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, so a wise decision by him to continue to attack that cut. It's getting wider by the minute. It's getting wider by the minute. This guy is, is, a, is a fantastic fighter, and he's as smart as they come. So the moment that cut opened up, you knew that that would become his focus, and we are seeing it very clear right now. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Pua's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Oh man, hit to win. Oh, beautiful lead kick is good there by the ring. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack it. Whiffs on that offering. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really fighting him up now. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. All right, 45 seconds now to go to the round. So that cut Let's continues go. to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. Oh, submission attempt here. He's fighting. He walks his bag. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. And yet another hook connected there by Hua. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Overeem's eye is really not looking good right now, Daniel. Starting to swell shut, and that is going to compromise his vision as this fight continues. before you heard the horn, so he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the foot.
All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. That shot blocked by the Reem. Big shot to the body. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon today. Swing and a big miss by Hua. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can go long. Well, who is definitely taking aim at that cut right now? You see, targeting that area that is already compromised on his opponent. Oh, the bruising on that calf chin. That's not good. Hey, take your cans off. Tell him to check a kick. I mean, we got to go back to pandemic fighting. Where they could just hear the coaching because, man, he has not checked one kick and he's paying for it now. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making it work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on it. Bone on bone. Nicely done with the high kick. And he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by the Ream. Well, he's done a great job with his leg attacks all night, but particularly to that meat on the thigh, we might get a stoppage here soon. Yeah, I, it feels like it's an eventuality. It feels like this guy is going to get finished by Lake. You can see very early that he should have addressed this. He didn't, and now he's paying for it. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Big body shot. You can see it start to take an effect on his opponent. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, man. How many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fresh. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen. He's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't gonna get the job done there. He did not address it early enough. Well, who is really limping now? Clearly the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Lead kick is true there by the ring. Under a minute to go in round four. Clinch position, the underhook is going to be very important. Whoever controls the underhook is in control of this position. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Another strike lands to that swollen area. The end swell would come in handy right now. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh my goodness! 
This could be it! Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single count. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, big elbow. Wolverine's really having a hard time putting weight on that leg now. You can see the obvious limp, and a lot of that is due to the leg kicks courtesy of his opponent. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out into the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the Ready finish, fight. but if he lands Ready. one more time just like yeah. that, he will get the victory. Shogun gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Leg kick lands, my favorite strike. Oh, and he lands the leg kick. The stats are in his favor when it comes to that strike. Working off the jab, it's good. Overeem's left leg is now compromised. Perhaps it was that last kick, but clearly you can see he is dealing with a limp, and that could be a storyline that continues as this fight rolls on. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Essentially swollen shot at this point in time, and I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Looks like that one landed. Beautiful body kick. Man, this is getting harder to watch with every calf kick that lands. I'm not sure if the team should throw in the towel, maybe the referee get involved, but seems like the outcome here is an eventual out. Yeah, somebody needs to make a decision because this fighter is as tough as they come. He will never quit on himself. He'll keep trying, but sometimes you got to save the athlete from themselves. Well, this one is coming down to the wire. This has been so action-packed. I'm going to stand up and call the rest of this fight. I hope nobody is behind me. This has been insane. I mean, it's unbelievable that we've still been sitting the whole time. Both Look at it. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. So how about that? What a moment for this fighter as he pounds him out for the TKO win. Relentless strikes landed across the board and a huge, huge win in his career. John, that was so impressive. What an amazing display of finishing ability by this young fighter. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alistair the So Alistair Overeem just continues to get it done while entertaining the masses along the way. Huge win for the Ream tonight. A guy who statistically is about as accurate a striker as we have on this roster. I thought he was efficient tonight, picked his spots well. Yet another shining moment for one of the best heavyweights to ever do it. Congratulations to Alistair Overeem.